Hey y'all, Duncan and David here with RV Wholesalers learning about the Platinum Starter Kit for your RV needs. We're gonna learn all about it. Why don't you tell us about it, David? This is, this is the top of the top, guys. This has everything that you'll need to properly use, maintain, take care of your camper. Mm. Uh, we start over here with the stackers. The stackers can be used not only underneath your jacks on the coach, which we'll show you in a few minutes, but also underneath the tires. If you get your coach huh. really on unlevel ground, you can use those for that as well. This, more than ever, people kind of understand rubber gloves, right? Yeah, rubber so gloves yeah. are to keep the sewage off of our hands. Yeah, makes sense. This is a really neat adapter that helps you fill the fresh water tank, makes it very easy hmm. and quick. These are both electrical adapters. Why do you need them? Well, you get home and you don't have a way to plug in. This one actually will enable you to take your 30 amp cord and still plug into your home, for example. Wow, that's nice. This one adapts from a, from a 50 to a 30. So it just, it, it gives you some flexibility on where you're parking. This is called a soft sewer gasket. That you're gonna put in the ground, in the hole, and then you're gonna put your sewer hose in it so everything stays where you want it. Hmm. Worst thing in the world is a blowout right. when you're dumping the black tank. This hose is going to hook up to your bathroom faucet, which then hooks up to this. This is your toilet tank wand. That's how you're gonna clean out your toilet and also your black tank when you're cleaning it out. So for those of us who don't know what a black tank is, mm -hmm. what is that? That is the tank that holds all the sewage. Okay. Gray water or gray tank is the one that gets your sinks and your shower, okay? Absolutely. Black water gets the toilet. Okay. And, and both aren't fun, but black, you definitely wanna take care of yourself <laughs> with it. Definitely. This is called a wheel chalk. You get a few of those. That's so you can put underneath your tires and keep your unit from moving. This, of course, is your sewer hose. Yeah. This is a deluxe sewer hose. You can see the thickness of it. Yeah. People say, why does that matter? Because you don't want the thing to spring a leak. Right. Okay. And it also gives you plenty of room and it, it, it expands. So you can also collapse this thing down, put it in your back bumper. Oh, that's nice. Then yeah. we have our freshwater drinking hose. I love this one. People always say, well, can I just use one from the local hardware? You can and they release a lot of rubber particles because they aren't meant for drinking, mm -hmm. right? So you want a drinking water safe hose and that's what that is. And do you work these together sometimes Yes, as well? sir, you absolutely do. That is a water pressure regulator. Why that's important, some parks do not regulate the pressure of their water. Mm -hmm. People hook up, this happens unfortunately more frequently than people like to discuss, yeah. blows their fittings apart inside their trailer. Absolutely. This prevents that from ever happening. This is worth its weight in gold, yeah, literally. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Uh, RV toilet paper, this one we just, real quick, it needs if, to be different. Right? It is different. If, if you cannot use cheap house toilet paper, everybody says, I'm just buy cheap house toilet paper. Well, here's what happens. The, the cheaper the toilet paper, right, house toilet paper, as we like to call it, the fibers are really, really long. Gotcha. Okay? And they use a very strong bonding agent. RV toilet paper, those fibers are cut super, super short, and they use the weakest bonding agent they can. Hmm. As soon as you use that toilet paper and it hits the bowl, it starts to break apart immediately. Okay, there's no interwoven, right? Yeah. It's not uh, quilted, as, as some claim. Yeah. The reason is that breaks down quickly and it comes out of your tank and there are no issues. No clogs. It, no clogs. If you put house toilet paper in your tank, it can literally start to unwind and tangle around things. You cannot get it out. And finally, we have the little bio pouch and what that is, you put that inside the tank, that's going to help not only keep the odor down, but it starts to digest everything in your tank. So when you get ready to, to pull the valve, it should be liquefied at that point. Yeah. Now why don't we run around and show people exactly where you use these things. Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna try this for the first time, a wheel chalk. I've never RV'd before, but I'm learning, I'm learning. So we stick this under the wheel and you have one on each side. That helps you not to roll back and forth, uh, especially if you're on a gradient or something like that. Yeah, and it, it'll, it'll even stabilize when you're inside the coach. Oh yeah. But it's also just for safety. As you, as you unhook your trailer, you wanna make sure it doesn't roll in the direction right. from your automobile. So that's a great thing it does. Great. And then we have the sewer hose. Yeah, this is sewer hose. Now this is the end that goes on your camper, okay? Yeah. You can see these little connections and they're gonna go right over these uh, for lack of a better term, they call them nipples, and, and it's just going to hook right on yeah, there, okay? give it a try. See how easy it is. That's there we it. go. You're done. You've That's got a it. good seal. There's a good yeah. rubber seal inside, That's so it cannot leak. Now this end, you can see, is just like the end that was on your camper, yeah. right? Okay, and we're, we're going to... Yeah, we that... use one of these there too, right? Well, this goes in the ground, so we're going to pretend like we have a sewer hose here, okay. right? An opening. We would push this down into the opening, of course, take off the packaging. Yeah. Then if you can grab that elbow. Okay. 
Okay, this elbow, you can see it's clear. There's a reason it's clear. You want to be able to see what's coming out. Right. Okay? Yeah. When you have no more solids and, and pretty much the liquids are done, you know your tank's done, okay? Right. Now, let's back up a little bit. First thing you always do is drain your black water tank. In order to drain it though, we have to put this on here. And you can see it's the same setup we just had, yeah. right? Just it's reverse. An easy twist. Yeah, we're just gonna snap it on there. Then this would go into the ground, okay? Mm. Obviously, we don't want any excess, so we would collapse the hose yeah. to get rid of the excess. Then... Like a slinky. Yep, exactly. If you look, there's two valves back here. Okay. See the big valve with the, it looks like J2 on it? Yeah. Okay, we pull, right we would, we would, if we were doing it for real, we yeah. would pull that one first. Okay. That's your black water, that's your sewage. Okay, Okay, yeah. your toilet. When we see nothing more come out of this elbow, okay, it looks like it's done. Then we would pull the other valve, this the smaller one. one. Right, that's the gray water. That's gonna not only empty your gray water tank, but it rinses everything out of this hose. Great. So the hose is clean, okay? So you okay? do it in those two phases. Yep, you do, it, you do the, the black first, then the gray. The gray helps clean out your hose. Now you still aren't done, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna pop inside for just a minute. Okay, so now we're inside. One more time, we wanna go over the fact that you have to use RV toilet paper. You're gonna to have people out there that say, oh, you don't, you can get away with the cheap house toilet paper. You don't, you don't wanna do that, okay? That's where most of the clogs come from. Mm -hmm. Also, as people, they'll, they'll go to read, is their tank half empty, is it, you know, is it half full, is it, is it a quarter, whatever. This, this paper will not cause interference with yeah. that. House toilet paper a lot of times will, it wraps around things and then you don't get accurate readings. So okay? preventative maintenance, yeah? Preventative, that's very important. Okay, so let's go back. We've already we've already dumped our gray water, right? We've already uh, dumped our black water, our gray water. Yeah. We've got our gloves on, right? So we keep our hands clean. Now we want to rinse our toilet, okay? But we also want to rinse our, our black water tank. The black water tank is right underneath this toilet. You can't miss it. If we put our foot down, you won't be able to see it because it's not lit up, but trust me, that's the black water tank, okay? Yep. We need to clean it out. So the easiest way to do that is, we take this Tank One faucet hose kit, this hooks up, you can see the fitting here, this unscrews on our faucet, this screws on, and now we can hook this hose up. The hose hooks here, and we're gonna take this, quickly rinse our toilet, but here's the most important thing. This wand is gonna go down through the toilet to the tank. Okay, we're going to turn it in all directions like I'm doing and the reason is we're literally, you wouldn't believe the force and the pressure out of this thing, we're, we're literally going to clean that entire tank. It's like pressure washing it. Okay, so now any solids left, any paper, anything is, is rinsed out of the tank. Okay, I like to have my wife out there. She watches that elbow. When she sees clear water, we're good. She taps on the wall. That's great. And I know we've got it. Okay, so again. Good with two people. Yeah, you have to do this though. If you don't have anyone with you, you're still going to want to rinse that out. And how often do we do this? Every time you dump. Every time you dump? Every time you dump. Now, you say, well, I'm not camping for another month, so just shut that, right? Move on? No. Nope. What I'm going to do now is run a little bit of water down there just by keeping my foot on the pedal, okay? If we had this hooked up, water would pour down in there. Not a lot. Maybe to where you think you got about an inch covering. Gotcha. Then I'm going to take one of these pouches. Okay. Okay. Kind of like a little laundry detergent pot exactly. almost. Exactly. I'm gonna drop this down in there, okay? Okay. Now when I do that, the whole time that we're on our way home, right, that water's swishing around there. Not enough to cause any problems, yeah. right? Not enough to, to cause any control issues. There's about an inch in there on the bottom of the tank, but what that does is it cleans the tank all the way home. Absolutely. Also, you don't get odors. Anything left is getting digested. There's no odor coming out of your tank. People that camp all the time know this. Yeah. There's times you'll walk into your camper and you can't take the odor from this, it's because people do not use the proper chemicals mm -hmm. and they did not rinse their tank. Yeah, if you have any questions about this too, you can always contact RV Wholesalers for any help that you may need with this if you didn't Absolutely. catch all of that. Give us a call at 877-877-4494, glad to help you. Let's, okay, see, some let's, other, let's see some other things yeah, in the premium outside. package. Yeah, definitely. Now we're out at the back, we're gonna see a couple more things that come in the premium package. What yeah. else do you have for us? First thing's the stackers that you're holding. And you can see here an application for the stackers. Oh, it gives yeah. you something to put the jack on so it doesn't sink into the mud, gotcha. right? It doesn't sink into the dirt, so it gives you a lot of stability. Kind of like snowshoes for your RV. That's exactly what <laughs> it is. And you can also put them underneath the tire. If you, if you pull into a camp spot that's just really, some of them are on the side of a hill, yeah. you can use the stackers to, to make your RV level. That's nice. Yeah, Love pretty that. handy uh, Pretty handy little adjustment. 
This is a water pressure regulator, right? We discussed it before. I'm going to hook this to the park's electric, or to the park's water source, okay? Mm -hmm. Or if I'm home, to my water source. Right. Again, the reason for it is it's going to regulate the pressure. It's going to make sure there's never too much pressure and it blows apart my RV lines, okay? All right, so back here, this is kind of cool. Okay. Remember how we talked about the toilet wand, right? Yeah. And how you got to flush your tank. This is a tank flush, okay? If you hook a water hose up to it. Like it, here. Right, it cleans the tank, but you still want to use the wand. Mm. People, people think, well, I have a tank flush, I don't need the wand. No, you, you still need the wand. I promise you, you still need the wand. Yeah. It's going to miss some of those important it, this parts. This does not hit area. everything, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, it, it's going to shoot in at an angle and it's going to miss part of it. Not only that, it doesn't get all the sensors. You want to keep the tank sensors clean. The reason is then it always has accurate readings for you. Absolutely. Okay? Nothing more irritating than not knowing. And this this part here, what does that one do? Yeah, this is going to fill, this is going to be up at the front of the trailer. We'll go there in just a second, but this is how we fill our fresh water tank very easily, okay? Otherwise, you're holding a garden hose there the whole time, water spitting back out at you, yeah. etc. Okay, this hookup is literally if you want to winterize your camper with antifreeze, okay? We don't do that here at RV Wholesalers. We hook up an air compressor, blow the lines out. We put antifreeze in the toilet and all the sink traps, shower traps. But you can, if you want, you can hook up a hose to this and turn it on and it'll, it'll pump the antifreeze through your unit, okay? That's helpful. Yeah, so you can, you can definitely do that. A lot of people do this when they're just coming home. Like, for example, they live in Ohio, they're down in Florida, they got to come back to winter, they do that so they're safe hmm. until they can get in and get it winterized. Okay, this is our city water connection though. This is the one that we want to use with our garden hose if we have a water source, right? So if the park has a water source like this, this is going to hook to the pressure the pressure regulator, right. okay? This hooks to the camper right here. Right. And now you have a safe drinking water hose. No rubber particles will come out of that hose and go into your drinking water. And because of the regulator, you're not gonna break these components. Right. You're not gonna have anything blow apart inside. Right, excellent. Let's walk up front, we'll show you where to use this. Okay. We're here at the front of the trailer now. I have a question, what is happening up here with this water coming down? That's literally your gutter spout, okay? And you can see it comes out away from the coach. All that water's falling down, missing the yes. coach. You get a little bit of splashing. But before we put those on RVs, we had black streaks all down Ooh, the sides. It was terrible, really yeah. hard to clean. So this this is a, kind of a lifesaver. Now it's gonna be in our way a little bit for this, That's but right. at least we're not getting black streaks we have to clean up. Yeah. We give you two hoses, two 25 foot hoses. Everyone says, why two? You never know how far away you are from your water right. source, okay? Some you people also- up, daisy chain them. Exactly, some people also like to use them for different purposes. This is what we were talking about. This is how you fill your fresh water tank, okay? okay. All of them come with normally a 20 to 30 gallon fresh water tank. If you put that in there, you can see, number one, I can walk away from it. Yeah. Okay, I don't have to stand here. Here's the other thing, though. This is a smaller diameter than the hose. If you try to put the right. hose in there, I'll show you. Got the open one. There's not much space, and it spits all the time at you. Oh, okay? I see. So you got water flying all over you. When you put this in, number one, you can still turn the water off, on and off from with here. the little valve. That's right. nice. But it fills and air can escape. You don't get all that, yeah. all the water it's spitting out It's not gonna push itself you. out because of no, that air exactly. being able to be out. And see this, this, the fresh water tank, that's if you don't have a water source. So you'd fill this before you leave home. Then when you're camping, you're gonna run off your water pump. If you have a water source, then you use your pressure regulator, you use your hose. You don't need this. You don't need to mess with it. So it's one or the other, it's never both. Excellent, okay. And we're on to our last piece from the premium package, these yep. adapters. Those correct? are your electrical adapters. And that's, exactly. that's happening right here in the front that's, as well? That's exactly, uh, we're seeing an extension cord, but it's the same thing, okay? Yeah. So we could adapt. So if we're home, and a lot of people, this is a great camping uh, tip. If you're home and you're packing up for your trip and you're leaving on Friday when you get home from work, yeah. Thursday night, go out, start your refrigerator so it cools off put cold stuff in the refrigerator, oh, and when idea. you get where you're going, you've got good so, uh, cold stuff. Otherwise, people put hot stuff in a hot fridge, mm. they're waiting hours for it to cool. Right. Makes sense? That makes sense. So people say, yeah, but I don't have an RV plug, and if you look, this is the RV plug. I don't have that outlet at home, what do I do? Simple, you plug it into here, you plug that into your garage. It's your regular home. outlet, yeah, yep. that makes sense. Or your sense. exterior outlet, okay? So it enables you to have your RV plugged in home. Also, not just to cool off the refrigerator, but Yes, right? Don't yeah. have enough beds. Hook up your RV while I'm sleeping. Yeah, that's a good point. No, Man, it is. They really thought of everything in this premium package. No, they have. And, and that one is for if you have a, a 50 amp outlet or a 50 amp cord, you can drop it down to 30 amps, okay? Mm. And why is that important? Well, some of the trailers that have three, four air conditioners, this one does not. 
they have to go with a 50 amp cord. This enables you to reduce it down to a 30 amp. Now, why do you do that? You can reduce it again and plug it in at home. That's one reason. The other reason is a lot of the extension cords are 30 amp. Yeah. Okay. Why throw away an extension cord? Reduce it down. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, thank you so much for teaching us all about what comes in this package. Thank you, RV Wholesalers, for creating something like this for newbies like me who don't know what they're doing. Yeah, it makes it easy. Yeah, don't forget to, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, ask us any questions that you have, and we'll see you in the next video. Sounds good.